Ooh, what is going on guys and welcome to Throwback Thursday. We are here with WCW NWL World Toy. We're going to be playing a one-on-one -on -one singles match for Throwback Thursday. And who the hell should we play with? I don't know. Should we go with uh, the Chris Benoit? Should we go with uh, Scott Hall? Who should we play with? And uh, randomly, I'm not even looking. Oh, shit. Ric Flair, the nature boy. Hell yeah, guys. We got the nature Ric Flair, and we're going to be going up against, say, why not NWO? WCW versus NWO, so why not, uh, hmm, hmm, I'm thinking Scott Hall. How about Scott Hall? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're about to take it to the limit with the rules. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start this up here. Ric Flair will do it normal. Let's do it all straight up normal. Let's go in, Ric Flair, the nature boy, woo! And we're facing Razor Ramon, a.k.a. Scott Hall. And, uh, damn, look at Ric Flair. Look at that big-ass nose. All right, here we go. We're in the DOA arena. Come here, boy. Come here, Scott Hall. Stop backing up, up on me. Oh, sh oh, shit. No. What the fuck? All right, he hit me with the scoop slam. No. Kick out. Kick out, Rick. All right, there we go. Alright, we got him. We got him into the ropes and no winner reversal by Scott Hall. And a drop kick him down on the apron. Holy shit, Scott Hall is taking it to me early on in this matchup. I'm pretty sure I'm playing on high difficulty, so this will be a tough ass match to win. And holy shit, get on my ground. Get on my mat. Yes, it's my mat. I'm Ric Flair. I own professional wrestling. <laughs> and look at that Tiger Suplex. Double underhook. Oh my god, we are in Dead or Alive Arena. Here we go, WCW versus NWO, supporting the NWA that WCW, we are supporting that with Ric Flair, trying to get that spirit meter up. Look at that NWO on Scott Hall, look at him, oh, with the freaking schoolboy roller pin, and not even a one count early on. And uh, here we go, this is a throwback Thursday, you guys. I am starting up a Let's Play on WCW versus NWO Revenge. This is World Toy though, so I decided why not make this the focus point on this week's Throwback Thursday. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys like it. Hopefully uh, you guys are like liking the uh, the wrestling thing. I'm a huge wrestling fan, so obviously uh, the wrestling video games and the wrestling videos are um, are why I'm making them because I love playing these old uh, retro video games. This game by itself WCW vs NWO World Tour not a lot of people know but this is one of my first games I ever started to play and it's also one of the first ever games that made me become a wrestling fan because uh playing this game as a kid always with my uh, older brother and uh, watching wrestling too but this game itself made me a pretty big um wrestling fan and even made me like WCW a little bit more so than uh than I did back in the day because I was more a WWF fan and I didn't really care for WCW too much and I think that was mainly because my brother because uh, he was a WWF fan so obviously I was going to be too but this game kind of helped me uh carry onward to being a wrestling fan and not just a WWF WWE fan so uh yeah this game is pretty awesome that's why I decided to pick it for my throwback Thursday and that's why I've been doing a lot of videos on the old retro wrestling games lately because they have a lot of meaning to me i uh, love these old retro games especially wrestling because you know wrestling is a huge part of my life and uh here we go look at that awesome maneuver by the nature boy rick flair oh what the freaking pile driver we're getting that spirit meter up about four minutes into this video two and a half minutes into this matchup we are here and oh shit and he reversed the nature scott hall Oh shit, what's he gonna do? Back up off me, boy. Oh, back up off me. Back up off of me. Holy shit. The nature boy, Ric Flair, has Scott Hall stumbling. And he misses with the freaking, oh, with the drop kick. Old guy getting up there for the drop kick. I guess he's not that old in this game, but you know what? Oh, look at that. I'm styling, profiling, limousine riding. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right, let's see what his uh, front uh, special is. Oh, look at those. Oh, what the fuck? What kind of a move is this? That's classic Ric Flair. The nature boy. Ric 
Flair, what kind of a move was that, Rick? What the hell? What the fuck was that? How do I do the figure four leg lock? Can I? No! Can I do it? No! Oh, here we go. Oh, figure four leg lock. Make him tap. Make Scott Hall tap out. He's in the middle of the ring. He's in danger. He's going to tap. He has nothing to do but tap. And no, he didn't. What the fuck? Throwback Thursday. Ric Flair had Scott Hall in the middle of the ring. And he did not tap out. I could probably get him with an easy pan attempt. But you know what? We're the nature boy. This is Throwback Thursday. I'm not trying to end this quickly. It's only been about a four minute match. Let's try and make Scott Hall tap out. That is our goal for this matchup. We have to make Scott Hall tap out by using the figure four leg lock. How about that? As we go for the strong hook. Oh my god, and then a drop kick. Look at that by Ric Flair and another drop kick. Oh, freaking slick that hair back. Slick, Ric. Oh, and okay, is it me or is the in Nintendo 64 character Ric Flair just not that great looking? Is it me or is it just, he is just not looking his best in this game, in my opinion. And uh, I don't even know what year this game was made. I'm pretty sure it was like 97 or 95-ish. So uh, I I'm pretty sure Ric Flair was not that uh, fat back in the day. Back in uh, like 95-ish, Ric Flair was definitely not that fat. He was, uh, he was in pretty good shape back then. He was uh, working on and shit. I don't know. Why this Ric Flair is, uh, his hair is all weird, his face is kind of fucked up, he has a big ass nose, and he has a gut too, look at that gut. Whenever I block, you can see his gut just stick out of his freaking, st oh my god, and another double underhook suplex. There we go, Ric Flair, let's pick him back up. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here, and oh, with the schoolboy roll up in. And uh, I'm actually going to go and cancel out of that because as you guys know, we have a goal. We have to try and make Scott Hall here tap out. And here we go. The Nature Boy. Figure four leg lock. Woo! Got that classic Nate. Woo! Is he going to tap? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Okay. Get on the floor. Alright, drag him out. Let's drag him. And figure four leg lock. Figure four leg lock. Woo! It is applied. Look at Scott Hall. He's in pain. Tap out, you bastard. What? There we go. Give up. He taps. Ric Flair. Woo! WCW wins on Throwback Thursday. Thanks for watching, you guys, and stay tuned for more Throwback Thursday next week. And uh, I'm up out of here, guys. Ric Flair wins. Woohoo! And one more for Ric Flair. Woo! I'm up out of here, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Throwback Thursday. See y'all later. Bye.